Peter also was standing with them and warming himself. Then the high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and about his teaching. Jesus answered, I have spoken openly to the world. I have always fought in the synagogues and in the temple where all the Jews come together. I have said nothing in secret. Why do you all ask me? Ask those who heard what I said to them. They know what I said. When he had heard this, one of the police standing nearby struck Jesus on the face, saying, Is that how you answer the high priest? Jesus answered, If I have spoken wrongly, testify to the wrong. But if I have spoken rightly, why do you strike me? Then Anna sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. Now Simon Peter was standing and warming himself. They asked him, Are you not also one of his disciples, are you? He denied it, saying, I am not. One of the slaves of the high priest, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had cut off us. Did I not see you in the garden with him? Again Peter denied it, and at that moment the cock crowed. Then they took Jesus from Caiaphas to Pilate's headquarters. It was early in the morning. They themselves did not enter the headquarters, so as to avoid ritual defilement and to be able to eat the Passover. So Pilate went up to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered, If this man were not a criminal, would we not have handed him over to you? Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves, and judge him according to your law. The Jews replied, We are not permitted to put anyone to death. This was to fulfill what Jesus had said, when he indicated the kind of death he was to die. <coughs> then Pilate entered the headquarters again, summoned Jesus, and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you ask this on your own, or did others tell you about me? Pilate replied, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over, over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked him, So you are a king? <coughs> Jesus answered, You I 
I was born, and for this I came to the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Pilate asked him, What is the truth? Uh, after he had said this, he went out to the Jews again and told them, I find no case against him, but you have a custom that I release someone from frail for you at the Passover. Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? They shouted in reply, not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was abandoned. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. And the soldiers wove a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they dressed him in a purple robe. They kept coming up to him and saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And striking him on the face, Pilate went out again and said to them, Look, I am bringing him out to you, to let you know that I find no case against him. <coughs> so Jesus came out, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Pilate said to them, Here is the man. When the chief priests and the police saw him, they shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no case against him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and according to that law, he ought to die, because he has claimed to be the Son of God. Now when Pilate heard this, he was more afraid than ever. He entered his headquarters again and asked Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. Pilate therefore said to him, Do you refuse to speak, speak to me? Do you not know that I have power to release you and power to crucify you? Jesus answered, You would have no power over me unless it had been given for, for, for given you from above. Therefore, the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin. From then on Pilate tried to release him, but the Jews cried out, If you release <coughs> this man, you are no friend of the emperor. Everyone who claims to be a king sets himself against the emperor. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus outside and sat on the judge's bench at a place called the Stone Pavement, or in Hebrew, Gabata. Now it was the day of preparation for the Passover, and it was about noon. He said to the Jews, Here is your king. They cried out, Away with him, away with him. Crucify him, Pilate asked them. Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but the emperor. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross by himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, which in Hebrew is called Golgotha. 
There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side with Jesus between them. Pilate also had an inscription written and put on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this inscription because the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and it was written in Hebrew, in Latin, and in Greek. Then the chief priests of the Jews said to Pilate, Do not write the king of the Jews. But this man said, I am the king of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, <coughs> I have written. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four parts, one for each soldier. They also took his tunic. Now the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top. So they said to one another, Let us not tear it, but cast lots for it, to see who will get it. This was to fulfill what the scripture says, they divided my clothes among themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. And that is what the soldiers did. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus, where his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene, when Jesus saw his mother, and the disciples whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, it is your son. Then he said to the disciples, It is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. After this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said in order to fulfill the scripture, I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of water on a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, It is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Soldiers came and broke the legs of 
and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once blood and water came out. He who saw this had testified, so that His testimony is true, and he knows that he tells the truth. These things occurred so that the scripture might be fulfilled. None of his books. 